Hi Taurus, it's time for our daily get together. It's Wednesday today, January 24th, 2024. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come out today, Taurus. Spirit, so what does Taurus need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? Okay, I'm going to shuffle one more time, Taurus. See what's going on. What does Taurus need to know, Spirit? Okay, so the very first card you have is you have the star. This is Aquarius energy. And then you have the hanged man, Pisces energy. Two major arcana showing up right away. And the eight of cups is here. Hmm. There you are, Taurus, the empress, male or female. And the center card of your reading is the Knight of Pentacles. The Two of Wands. The Two of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. And on the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups. And you have the Queen of Swords. Hmm. Kind of feel like you feel like this crowded energy, like someone here is crowding you. I don't know what that is, but it feels like you need to break free. Tell me why the star is here. Yeah, you're feeling like you need to break free and... um. Invest in yourself, your money into yourself to be more specific for someone. And then you have strength, Leo energy here, but you're not making a decision. You know, when the star shows up, Taurus, like it's showing up right there. You've already hit a tower moment. You've already hit a place in your life where you feel like everything has fallen down. Everything has fallen apart. And so you're rebuilding here. And I'm seeing you're kind of closed off and held back. There seems to be, for someone here, there's a younger earth sign here in the energy. Um, like yourself, either a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. Tell me why the Hanged Man is here. The Page of Cups and the Ten of Wands. You feel like you're sacrificing yourself. And um, you're giving too much. You have the Moon, the Hierophant, and the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. And the fool. Yeah, I just, I just am really getting this energy here of, is this really a commitment or is this a lie? You're unsure. Is this really a marriage? Are we really building something together or is this a lie? And emotionally, I'm seeing you walking away with the Eight of Cups. Tell me why the Eight of Cups is here. You have Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Um, 
You're sick and tired of somebody here, Taurus. Look at you showing up as the wounded warrior. Look at this person returning with their cup. Coming to you like nothing's wrong. Hey, Taurus, what's going on? And you're like this. You're frustrated. You've had enough and you've already walked away. And emotionally walked away anyway. This is not... Whoever this person is, whatever this job is, this is not what you want. But you're struggling. You're holding on to it for some reason. Let's look at you, Taurus, because you're showing up here in your own energy. Why is the Empress here? Nine of Swords. The Lovers. Gemini energy. And you have the Chariot. Cancer energy here. You're just really fighting an inner battle on this one, right? See, Taurus, you're making a choice here with the Empress. Because I really see here that you know who you are. You know, you are the empress. You attract. You do not chase. And it's almost like you're feeling like you're stuck in a position. Um, like your mind is very busy. Like your mind is very cluttered. Like this person has your mind like in this like repeated thoughts or something on how to break free, how to get away. And that's what I'm seeing you doing here. Your mind, but you're worried about it. The Nine of Swords, you're worried about getting in the car and moving away from this. This person, this job, whatever it is. And so I'm seeing you here being stuck. Which we're going to find out why. But let's look at this person because I see someone here approaching you. Tell me why the Knight of Pentacles is here. The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a messenger. The Three of Swords. Oh, this person doesn't want to let you go without a fight, do they? They don't want to get on board. They don't want to go with with your idea of what love is and the way that you should be treated. But they they will not give up. All right? They stick and they stay and it's like this constant circle of heartbreak and pain with the 3 of swords and then an apology again. I don't know if this person, if they disappear for, you know, for long periods of time, you don't know where they are. Tell me why the Two of Wands is here. Yeah, you're looking at options. That's what the Seven of Cups is, is looking at options. And I feel like you guys have been doing this for a while now, but you feel stuck. The Knight of Swords is here with someone who just keeps... It's like this person's crowding your space and your mind, and you just want to get out. You want some peace of mind. If this person's not around you right now, they're going to come back around you again. The Fool is her Aries energy. So it's like taking some type of a risk. And then you got the Two of Cups. So you got this person here with you again in the future that you're facing. Okay, let's see what happens here. Why is the Two of Cups here? This is someone that may ask you for money for more than you have to give.
See, look at them. Um, Capricorn, Energy, the Devil, the Page of Swords. This person is obsessed with, with moving into calmer water with you. It's like someone's hitching a ride here. I don't know, Taurus. And you may not be expecting it, but I'm seeing you taking a risk with whoever this person is again. You have the king and the queen of pentacles. There's a lot about money. There's a lot about stability in this energy with this person. But there's a tower moment. Something that you're not expecting connected to the three of cups. Tell me why the three of cups is here. You know, somebody here has a third party. The Four of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Somebody here is just not wanting to let you go. They don't want to lose. And I hate to say it. They don't want to lose this stability. Tell me why the Ace of Cups is here. The Ace of Swords. Seven of Wands and the Hermit Virgo Energy. Whatever this person's truth is with the Ace of Swords, I'm seeing a conversation taking place. Whatever it is, when they go into Hermit mode like this, they are very defensive about talking about this. They just kind of want you to go with the flow. Tell me why the Queen of Pentacles is here. You have Scorpio energy here with death. And I'm seeing you losing interest in whoever this is, Taurus. The sun is here, Leo energy. I see you finding peace and clarity here over um, some type of an illusion that someone is putting into your head. This person... Um, could be very sexual here with the Ace of Wands. But um, it's like they're breadcrumbing you. Ultimately, Taurus, in this reading, I'm seeing you cutting somebody off. It's like you've had enough. Tell me why the Ace of Pentacles is here. Yeah, you're making a decision to end this. There's a new, when one door opens, a new, I mean, when one door closes, a new door opens. And that's exactly what's happening here. I'm seeing a new door opening. And you might be doing something online with the world showing up here. But I'm seeing you making a judgment call on whoever this person is that's running all over your reading. This person's actually annoying me right now, Taurus. But this is your decision that, no, I'm done. It's really, really annoying. You're putting up walls. You're putting up defenses. There's too much inconsistency here. And it's, all, it's like someone screws up over and over and over again. To the point where you realize, and you've realized before, that they they simply don't care. They just think that you're always going to be here. But no, you're not dealing with this anymore. You have the Queen of Swords energy. This person might drink a lot. Tell me why the Nine of Cups is here. There is someone at a distance from you, Taurus. Um, and I see new love coming into your life. Tell me why the Four of Swords is here. I feel like you need to make room. Because there's someone here who's not supposed to be here in your life. And spirits are telling you, how can you have who's meant to be in your life when you have this energy here when you have this person here who's not meant to be here 
tell me why the Queen of Swords is here. The Nine of Wands, that's you. The Wounded Warrior again. And then you have the Five of Pentacles and you have the Queen of Wands. Why the heck is this person leaving you an Empress feeling of loneliness? I mean, somebody's completely looking a gift horse in the mouth, Taurus. They just um, are taking your kindness as a weakness. All right, you guys, let's get some advice from the universe. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. And I'm also seeing a past energy trying to come in. All right. So spirits are telling you, don't let your past hold you back. Emotions are running high. Super moon. And you have look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. All right, you guys, we're going to pick up some messages from... Um, what is hidden in the shadows? People around you. We're going to start here with Aries. What does Aries wish to say to Taurus? I want to tell you how I feel. Leo. I was careless with you. Sagittarius. Sometimes I hear your voice. Aquarius, you speak to me through music. Libra, I love you unconditionally. Gemini, in that moment, I didn't care. Taurus, I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. Virgo, I am different now. I couldn't tell you face to face. Capricorn. I wish I could share my good news with you. Pisces. I love myself enough to walk away. I can't stop thinking about you and I can still see you standing there. Cancer. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Scorpio. I remember every detail of that day. All right, you guys. I want you to ask your angels a question, Taurus. And choose um, as many angel answer cards as you're feeling called to choose here. So we have number one, number two, and number three. Okay, so if you chose number one, the answer is no. If you chose number two, get more information. Number three, look for a sign. All right, Taurus, these are the messages that came in for you guys today. I hope they help you to see the bigger picture. And we will meet back here again tomorrow, Taurus. I love you guys. Take care of you today. Um, the affirmation spirits have for you today is... Um, I can overcome any challenge. All right, so... Write that down in the comments and repeat this to yourself if your mind gets really busy because I'm seeing your mind being very busy right now. And that's what I feel like this cluttered energy is. Okay, so um, I can overcome any challenge. I can overcome any challenge. I can overcome any challenge. All right, Taurus, I'm sending you lots of love and light, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.